I can only hope that you have watched episode 1 to 6 and are starting to see just how beautiful the Matrix Resurrection is. We were in the coffee shop and Jude is on a mission to trigger Neil. Mr. Anderson takes us back to the first Matrix in which those words were uttered by Smith and were designed to bring fear into Neo's heart. As you can see, Neo is trying to ignore Jude. I imagine in that moment the voice of Trinity calling out his name, Neo. So he looks at the door and voila, there she is. We see that Jude understands that Neo is not really in the coffee shop for coffee. Trinity is the reason he is there. The sight of Trinity after all these years takes us back to our first meeting with her. That first image, so powerful in terms of the matrix code. So delightful as a picture of beauty. That single eye in the center of the frame, that first battle sequence that made us matrix fans. that gave rise to the WTF expression and then the jump that made all things possible. The scene contains a self-defense hack. Nothing can stop a fight as fast as a broken nose. Someone attacks you, take the palm of your hand and as hard as you can, push their nose towards the back of their head. But we're done with fighting. This is the seventh matrix. And no longer is there any fighting. Jude states that he will be his best self. We see Neo in this moment, far from his best self. We ask the question, what does it mean to be your best self. We know from the matrix that to be your best self you have to start with knowing oneself. Neo watches Trinity, a change from the first matrix in which she was watching him. We know that if he had the courage or perhaps taken advantage of Trinity's second life hack positive self-talk, I apologize, positive self-talk, he might have been able to get up the strength and the courage to talk to her. We see Trinity in this image, stirring awake our memory of her, knowing without her there would have been no Neo. We think of the love story in the first Matrix and ask the question, would Trinity have loved Neo if the Oracle had not said anything? Think about it. No one can tell you you're in love, you just know it. Through and through, balls to bone. Then we remember that moment when Trinity reached out from the real world into the Matrix to tell Neo that she loved him. We know that in that moment, he is reborn as the one. Because Trinity believed that the man that she loved would be the one. And in the world of the matrix, like the world of the mind, belief is everything. We see Trinity's son on his cell phone and this reminds us of our connection to these machines. Our connection to the online connected world. I want to thank those that have stood by this channel. When the many minds connected to the online world tend to feel about this channel as they do about the resurrections. 
You did not let your feelings get the best of you. You understood that this channel is packed with matrix facts. And facts do not need to be, to be presented in a shiny box. Just knowing Trinity's in the coffee shop envelopes Neil's body with calm. So Jude decides to trigger him again. We wonder what he has done for Jude. We know that in terms of the Matrix, Neo has a good heart. He has done a lot for the people connected to the Matrix and the people connected to the Zion Matrix. When Jude mentions the game company named after the god of the machines, we see Trinity's other son and find an emoji on his cap. Then we are introduced to Trinity and like Thomas Anderson is connected and linked to the doubting son of man, the name Tiffany is linked with the gift from God. Tiffany also means the appearance of God. Jude the handler then introduces the doubting son of man to this gift from the gods is a lovely life hack here that the facts that sometimes good things can come from bad things that people have done to us we think back to the first meeting between Neo and Trinity that chemistry that connection that bond that silences the world we see Neo in the club and remember at that moment in time no one could have predicted that that man who is so out of place in this world will one day give his life to change the matrix. Most of us would never offer such a sacrifice. Truth be told, most of us would not even press a like button if it meant saving the person's life. Most people, if they seen a beggar in the street holding up a picture of a scripts. If they seen the beggar in the street holding up a picture of a subscribe button would walk on by without giving it a second thought. The minute they touch hands, Trinity feels the connection. And as for Neo, we know that he has built a game which contains the Matrix story dedicated to this woman. We remember that as the 6-1, the machine part of Neo, the programmable part of Neo, has been programmed to love. Just like the Oracle program Trinity to love, the background song playing at this point in the movie is a song called One and the Same. Beautiful, don't you think? Now as soon as Trinity and Neo's connection starts to grow, Trinity's handlers step in to control the situation. Neo finds himself alone in his office, knowing that something in his life is different because he touched the hand of Trinity. Looking at him alone at his computer, it is hard to imagine how he will awake to take his place as the seventh one. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever thought about the story of the first one? I like to imagine that the first one started out alone in Zion, meditating on the world of the Matrix thinking about how he could free minds from the Matrix. I imagine he came up with a story about the Matrix world. I like to think that that story went a little something like this. I have these memories to show the story of the machine world, the first one decided to create the red and blue pearls. 
the red pole representing a 1 and the blue pole representing a 0. I imagine that he offered this binary choice to individuals and those that accepted the red pole he would bring them out of the matrix to a new world called Zion. Yes, I know there are several questions about Zion. The most important being, who built Zion? The most obvious answer is Zion was built by the first one. He built Zion on his own. Now you ask, how did he do that all on his own? The answer is simple. He used the tools of the machines. Like Morpheus, God of Dream states, the first one had the ability to change the matrix as he saw fit. He used that ability to create the world of Zion, a world within the world of the matrix. I know many of you like to think of Zion as a real place because the first one told us that it is a real world. Welcome to the real world. But as Morpheus states, if you're talking in terms of what is real, it all depends on how you define it. Some of you define it as real, some of you do not. But belief does not require you to believe what everyone else believes. You're free to believe whatever you want. This first anomaly who told us the story tells us the story of the first one. We know that the first anomaly gave birth to the second anomaly and so forth. And in a perfect story, the story of his resurrection, we see before our eyes the seventh version of the first one. I imagine the, the first one of the matrix world only freed a few minds before the machines noticed this anomaly in their binary world. I imagine that in exchange for Zion to continue, the anomaly offered his code to the machines, which they used to build a second upgraded matrix which contained a digital Zion to contain any anomalous code. In order to understand the code of these red poles, the machines implanted a program called the Oracle to study the world of Zion. She made a breakthrough into the world of the Zion psyche. She, re re she realized that what makes red poles different from blue poles is that the red poles believe in love. This a new matrix was created to account for love, for the choice of love. The oracle realized that this was a key to ending the war between man and machine. So she told the Zionites the story that one day the first one will return, telling us that we will recognize his return by his love for Trinity. And in the resurrection matrix, we see the rebirth of the first one. A mind blowing story, don't you think? I have these memories from my life. None of them have it.